Welcome to another broadcast with Gian. You will listen to a short reflection that will inspire you, challenge you, and enlighten you. Now our host, Gian. Today I want to talk to you about the word evangelist. There's one other question somebody asked me one day, what is the office of the evangelist? <laughs> sure, absolutely. Evangelism, evangelist, they come from the same root, gospel, the good news. It's about reaching out. It's about bringing people to the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. There are people with this particular gift because they have so much passion to talk about the Lord Jesus. And uh, not just the fact that they like to talk about the Lord Jesus, but they have this gift. It's an ability to persuade people to, to give their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ. I think we need to start with the basic uh, concept of theology here is how is it that you become saved? Who does that? It's because suddenly you want to be a good person. Suddenly you feel like you want to get closer to God. In other words, do you get saved yourself? <laughs> Or is it possible that uh, you don't have to do anything about it? That the miracle will happen simply because the Lord God wants to bless you with the gift of salvation, in which case, what is the participation of the Bible in all this, and how the Holy Spirit is involved in this process? Interesting. So, what we know is that the Lord Jesus paid the price on Calvary to save you. You understand that. You know that. He is risen. He ascended, went to heaven, he will come back in the second coming. By the fact that the Lord paid the price on Calvary, that sacrificial blood is the most powerful element in the whole universe that allows you to experience the forgiveness of your sins. So, who does save you then? The Lord Jesus does it. It's that blood, that sacrificial death. However, that works when you believe. So when, when you believe is when this, this wonderful miracle happens and is activated. Pow! The two things come together. The fact that he paid the price and the fact that you believe. What is most amazing is that you are able to believe because the Lord God gives you faith to believe. Now, Get this, the Holy Spirit does a, does a job by coming to your heart and softening your heart and impressing you to move you to see two great things. One is that you are a sinner, and two is that the Lord Jesus is your Savior. So that is why when someone gets saved, simply what happens is this person feels a little bit sad, there is some remorse, repentance. This person says, I want to change. I want to change. I really want to change. You see, repentance takes place. And then the person of Jesus is there. The person says, yes, I do believe Jesus is the Son of God. So now that you understand this, and you know that salvation actually is something that the Lord gives you because He is merciful, Salvation happens to you by grace. It's the grace of God, by faith, right? You do a minimum part by receiving the blessing of believing that faith comes through you through the preaching, but the whole work is done by God. Sending His Son, God the Father dying, God, the Holy, the Holy Spirit, touching your heart, you see? However, 
the evangelist is the person that tells you the story of Jesus and leads you to understand all this. That is the job of the evangelist. The evangelist tells you the importance of getting closer to God. The evangelist is the one who is going to be inspiring you to open your heart. And maybe he will be, uh, let's say, sweet and kind, or he can be funny, or he can be rough, tough, you know, and tells you, you must repent, you know. Everyone is different. But the point is that whomever is saying those things, this evangelist has the anointing of God, which is the power of the Holy Spirit, to lead this particular evangelist to speak to you in such a way that you will say, oh, wow, that is what I wanted to hear. That's what I, what I, what I wanted to know. And yes, indeed, I open my heart and I want to be forgiven. And I believe Jesus is the Son of God. So the evangelist does this job. The evangelist uh, not necessarily is going to be a pastor. Uh, not necessarily has to be uh, someone in, in a church and staff and there are many people that are great evangelists and they they don't like to do anything else they don't like to do the follow-up with the new believer <laughs> uh, they don't care much for the next steps you know leading the person to baptism and then learning the doctrines like a teacher does or a pastor does they are just different people. They just love to see when someone says, I surrender. I want to give my life to the Lord Jesus. And they are happy with that. Thanks to the good Lord for the evangelists all over the world. Victory Radio is now available 24-7. Visit our website, www.victoryradio.us. Great music, positive messages, optimism to keep you company while you work, or when you drive, or when you are at home cooking. Faith is what you need. Faith comes when you hear the right thing. Victory Radio is the new thing. Find us on the website, www.victoryradio.us. Have a great rest of your day. If you own a Roku TV, a Roku TV device, an Apple TV device, or own a Fire Stick, we invite you to install the Geon TV app. With the Geon TV app installed on your TV, you will be able to watch all the videos from the comfort of your home and be inspired with our programs. Enjoy music, inspirational videos, Bible teachings, and beautiful videos that will keep your tank of faith full all the time at the touch of a button. Remember G on TV. Receive the inspiration to achieve your calling in life. By G and Carlo Vicitoro. I know you have suffered, but what if you would have never met your mom because she died giving birth to you? That's the beginning of Simon's story. Then Simon's father died when he was only 15 years old. He was sent to a foster home where he was bullied, humiliated, and there was no one to protect him. But Simon decided to find a way to get his revenge by studying and becoming good at sports. He won a scholarship, and soon he started his own business, Simon Yardwork. Mean people were envious of his success, but one day, Simon met and fell in love with Jackie. They were happy, until the FBI arrested Simon due to clues that incriminated him with several murdered people. Will Simon end up in prison? Don't miss the outcome of this story, The Best Revenge, the musical that will inspire everyone to pay good for evil. Go to mygiancarlo.com to purchase The Best Revenge on audio and video. Welcome to this website, MyNewMentor.com. Here you will find the tools to establish a direct communication with your new mentor, Gian. Get the available spot on Gian's schedule and set your appointment to have an audio or video call via Skype with Gian. Do you like new movies, new books, new music? Go to MyGianCarlo.com. There is a new album, Adore, 10 songs. 
I wrote the songs and I sing those songs with a wonderful band of musicians and singers. If you sign up in mygiancarlo.com, I will give you one song for free. Take advantage of this free song and enjoy this wonderful production. The blessings of God are going to come to you when you are listening to the right thing, God's Word. You can find us in all of these platforms. Search for Gian TV on Apple TV, Roku TV, and Fire TV. Do you prefer a podcast? Find us too. And remember Victory Radio 24-7. The kingdom of God is near. Thank you for investing time with Victory Church Odessa. Feel free to subscribe to our channel here on this platform. Also, you can go to our website, vchurch.us, to connect with the rest of the platforms where you can follow us. Our address is 2400 West 81st Street, Odessa, Texas, 79764. Our Sunday worship service begins at 10 a.m. Our phone number is 432-614-9798. Our email address is info at vchurch.us. Feel free to share this program with your family and friends. Until next time, we wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Many blessings in the name of our Lord Jesus.